talk about building champions, it starts with the little things. I saw when I got here, two things we need to focus on. One was extension of our brand, building our brand so that we're able to elevate our recruiting and get the best players we can in the pipeline. But two, I felt like candidly, uh, we, we had some room for improvement in taking the players that were on our campus today and making them the best they could be. Are they getting the right amount of sleep? Uh, are they doing the right things in the classroom? Um, and one of those areas was, was nutrition. Our kids were eating uh, in the cafeteria, just kind of on their own. Maybe they had a coach who would give them some tips, um, but nobody who really knew how to tell a kid, you eat this before a contest because uh, you want a carb load, you eat this after a contest because you need proteins to repair the damage to your muscles and a fatigued body. We were able to work with Student Affairs to create a, a position for a, a full-time nutritionist. And, um, Charles does a great, great job. Coach Womack, uh, Jeff Smith and I are in daily contact, you know, with regards to anything that may be from injuries, um, guys who we need to address in terms of weight, body composition, working together to ensure that everyone is on the same page and we are all relaying the same message to our athletes. We look at guys' bodies, we look at their body weights on what we can add or change different to, um, to not only what they're eating, but um, you know, make some lifestyle changes for them, educate them on what to eat, what not to eat, or when to put it in their system. He's with them at practice, he's with them when they eat. Travel with them, I'm on the road with them. Really try and have a lot of face time with our team and our athletes, because when you do want to implement an intervention or, you know, you want that athlete's trust and their understanding that you're there to help them and you know getting them to buy into what you're trying to do is very important but if they don't trust you they don't recognize you and you're not around as far as with champs our dining facility he's gone in and made some changes to their uh, menus you know making sure our menus are tailored towards the needs of our athletes you got it all right there you got it all i'm on hand as a resource in the dining hall for them so maybe i will kind of pull them aside and help them build their play uh, no salad no fruit yeah, you can I get some fruit. So much. I can get some fruit. Yeah. Okay. I'll, so I'll be watching. You identify some foods or some options which may be better for them. You get some fruit? Yeah. Do that? Ah. Hey, that ain't enough food. Oh, no. An unnamed player uh, went by and didn't didn't get all the appropriate things on their plate. And uh, uh, in his British accent, he called them over there and gave them a, what I call a do better talk. Good, not bad. Good. Ready to eat? Ran on our administrations. Our president, I've done an unbelievable job of working to make sure we get, give them the resources necessary to play at a high level. That's been really key for our players this season. Yeah, the athletes are weighed in daily. Um, that way we can identify real trends as opposed to daily fluctuations. Uh, for a guy who is trending downwards, we will try and kind of assess their needs, what's going on right now. Uh, a guy like Jeffrey Wilson, uh, who put in, on 10 pounds of uh, really good weight this offseason to be able to sustain an entire season. Last year he played at 185. He averaged about that weight. Near the end of the season, we had to have he had to have a knee scoped and, and clean some things up. And so our emphasis in, in the off season was to try to rehab him properly, number one, but then increase his strength levels. But then again, we had to get his weight up. With Jeff, you know, he was kind of being injury plagued throughout his time here. So adding weight to Jeff, given his position, you know, as a running back, you take a lot of contact, a lot of reps. Currently, he's been staying at 199, and uh, that's huge for him because of such a physical runner he is. Well, you know, at the end of the season last year, Jordan weighed 351. You know, he stands out. He's got a frame that every NFL team looks at, you know, but but there were some things with his body that, you know, he, do, he doesn't move as well at that weight or he gets tired faster. He doesn't sit in his stance as well. We kind of looked at what he was doing now and kind of perhaps some places he could make some improvements. Um, it was nothing drastic, just some small lifestyle changes and, you know, being sure that he had, again, the tools that he needed to get to where he needed to be. And Jordan brought in 100% and I think his results show that. He's now uh, 332, so he's uh, moving better at that weight. He feels better. The nutrition aspect's been huge. I mean, just uh, from, from ranges of getting guys weight down to eating the proper things, um, you know, fueling your body the, you know, the right way. It's so important in today's age between nutrition and sleep. 
but it's, it's keeping them healthy as well. You know, we got they have recover from game to game, and so there's also foods and, and supplements that we can we can provide them to help them with the recovery process to get them ready for the next week. UNT is more than a place. We are a community of dreamers and doers. Here, knowledge grows. Ideas become discoveries and opportunities are boundless. We ask questions and seek answers. We push boundaries and expand minds. We defy expectations and pursue excellence. A tier one research university, UNT innovates for a brighter tomorrow. We are the path to success. We are UNT. Get back to us. Get back to what we do. Selfless, tough, and disciplined. Attack for four quarters on all three phases together. Most complete game. Let's go get after their ass. Let's go. Let's go together. Three. One, two, three. Together. It is blackout Saturday. The main green wearing all black helmets, jerseys, and pants. All white for the Monarchs. And takes the handoff, heads left, turns the corner, there's room. 30, 25, inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. Let's go, Warden! Let's go, Joe! Let's go! Receivers either side, now motion left to right, Darden, and the handoff for Wilson, and he will go in standing. Touchdown! Hey, good job, Good job, If they widen all the way out like that, Take it back inside, but, but work for the outside release. Right, right, you play fast release. right there. Keep playing fast, man. Moore kicking into the wind, gets it down to the three, and Harper to bring it back. Straight up the middle of the 10, 20, a burst, and through an ankle tackle at the 40. One man to beat up the sideline, 30, 20, 10, touchdown. The ODU 45, play action fake, fine roll into his right. And fires complete. Guyton with the catch. Out of bounds inside the 35 with another first down. Wilson is the running back. Play action fake and fine. Wants to float one deep. He has him in. Caught. Goal line. Touchdown. Our drive. Our drive. Let's go. Our drive. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Left-hander, and he throws a backwards pass complete. And Harper on the left side, evades the first wall, goes up the sideline and out of bounds. In mean green territory at the 48-yard line. Williams and the shotgun, fakes the handoff to Lowry, dumps it off right flat, not much there. Melvin Vaughn cut down by Keyshawn McClain. Yeah, you already know the drill. Hey, you, you're there to make the play. Just take your shot outside in. Remember, outside in. If he cuts it back inside, six will make the tackle. Four, if somebody will make the tackle when it inside out. But just force it to get back inside. Don't let it get outside. All right? Other than that, speed-wise, is what we thought. Okay. Listen up. First play. First play. They come out and X off. All right? Come out and X off. Left corner. You got to see it. We got to check drop, spin the safety down, get the quarterback action, you understand? Evan Johnson is the running back, takes the handoff, room up the middle, inside the five to the goal line, and in, touchdown. Easy, huh? It's easy, right? Come on, D! Come on, get up, get up! Back down! Come on, come on, come on, D! Defense hoping for a stop here from the ODU 44 on third and nine. Again, three wide receivers to the right. The handoff up the middle for Lowry. Bottled up, breaks a tackle, and brought down finally after a pickup of about four at the 48-yard line. Bailey Cade on to punt into the wind, and they block it. It is picked up at the 40 and returned to the 30, to the 20, up the sideline. 10-5, touchdown. What are they talking about? 
And takes the handoff. Looks for a block on the left side. And fumbles the ball and recovered by Carter. 35-30 up the right sideline through a tackle by Smith. Brought down at the 16. Listen to me. <laughs> Tackles. Get bigger splits when it's coming to you. You got it? All right, listen to me. Stay on it. We didn't get the backside linebacker. I think I stepped so on So if the three's to you, get a bigger split in the A-gap. With Cox to his left. Has the snap. Has time to look and throws incomplete to attempt a 28-yard field goal with an angle right to left from the far hatch. Good snap, good hold. And the kick is also good. Be careful about going under too much because that guy will scramble to the, you know what I'm saying? All right, so make sure you keep his ass in the pocket. Snap back for Williams, and his pass is deflected high in the air and intercepted at the 30-yard line. The mean green come up with a takeaway. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take a seat, come on, come on, come on. No, no, what move did you use? Jab on life, good job getting your hands up. Good things to happen. We got to make the play. To finds left, Mason with a look to the right side, throws complete to Guyton and pushed out of bounds inside the 20. And Fine will again give to Smith a leap and he is into the end zone. The ball is loose, he recovers his own fumble. If it was in fact a fumble, it was already a touchdown. Yo, Woody. Yeah, Woody, cut that in. <laughs> yeah. I see you hey, Woody. Yeah. I went straight. <laughs> I went straight over you, bro. Williams and the Monarch offense back out there. And on first down, he throws into the left flat, complete to Lowry, who was chased out of the bounds. Lowry to Williams, right on first and 10. Handoff faked. And the throw inside the five is knocked away by Hall, intended in the end zone. This will be a 34-yard effort from the near hash, left to right angle for Nick Rice. On what, barring a penalty, will be the final play of the first half. Good snap and hole kick on the way is good. 35-23, North Texas leading Old Dominion to end the first half. I absolutely love um, doing community service. People think it's, it's, a, it's a chore, uh, but when you talk to most everyone that, that would do a community service project, uh, they would say that they got out of it so much more than they were giving. Going and packing a few food bags and, and helping organize the food bank, you were helping somebody that could survive because of what they were providing, uh, which was a fantastic opportunity. I am and always will be all day CUSA. In the classroom, we are committed. In the community, we are uplifting. In athletics, we are strong. And on our campuses, we are accepting. Dynamic, diverse, determined, this is who we want to be, on and off the field. In our everyday lives, we are all day CUSA. And together, we are Conference USA. Woo! All right, been put in some rough situations, right? And you fought your ass out of them. Coach Cooner says from the box, he can tell we're playing our ass off. We're playing hard. We're playing fast. We're playing physical. But what we have to do is we got to play a little smarter. It's one play at a time focus, and all you care about is what's going on when you're on the field playing defense. You understand? You can't control anything else. You cannot control anything else going on in this game except that snap on defense that you got, you understand? So let's the next 30 minutes, just go control us, all right? All right, defense, keep working your ass off. Keep dominating their ass up front on the line of scrimmage, all right, and wear their ass out. That's what we're going to do the second half. Stay focused in. Get off the field. Do a great job, all right? Make sure we, we continue the second half. Make sure we dominate the second half. Make sure it's our best half. Do your job. Let's go. Go! Hey, right, listen, we got a long half to play. Together on three. One, two, three, together. 
North Texas leading 35-23 at the half. They've outgained the Monarchs 284 total yards to 149. Let's go! Two more quarters! Cox all the way at running back. Williams will look to roll. He may look to keep on the left side. Makes a move at the five, leaps for the pylon, and E.J. Ajia met him at the one and drove him out of bounds. Snap is back. The handoff, Cox leaping at the goal line and is in for a touchdown. Let's go, Tom. They've taken this possession into North Texas territory, the 47 of the far hash. First down snap, drops back to throw. And let's it fly deep over the middle, intercepted. Eric Jenkins at the 12-yard line. Down there with a pick. Listen to me. That's one of those great plays. You hear me? Yes, sir. That's one of those great plays, but let's not get involved in the after the play stuff. Hey, what would it do? It would have given you 15 right there in the back of the offense. You hear me? That's one of them great plays. They finally say he's down at the 35, and that's short by a yard, and you definitely expect Seth Trell to go for it. Maybe quick snap it here on fourth and one. The offense races to the line of scrimmage. There's the quick snap. The handoff up the middle, and Nick Smith is going to be stopped short. Go, Minute 45 and counting in the third. Handoff faked. He's going to keep. He's going to score. Up the middle, touchdown, and the Monarchs take the lead. Williams with the snap back. Hit. And will be Sacks back at the 24-yard line. Gang tackle ball may be loose at the bottom of the pile. Indication yet. Mean Green start to celebrate. They take it away at the 23. All right, just execute. What are we going to win this? Hear me? Execute. Well, that's it. Good snap and hold. Kick on the way and good. Green Green has pulled even. It's 38 38. Get your mind back, right? Why do you win this game? Yeah, you were trying to. That's what I thought. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Hey, get your mind right. Get your mind right. and really about a foot. They send Jackson in motion, the handoff for Cox, who is dragged down for a loss. Roderick Young comes up, Andy Flushy comes up. The Mean Green take over. That was one of those great plays. You understand? That was one of those great plays. And a tie-breaking scores. The offense takes over at the Monarch 48. Pistol for Mason Fine, well protected. Steps up, throws complete over the middle, and it's Bussy in a crossing pattern. At the 30-yard line, still on his feet, and finally dropped there along the far sideline. Second down and 10. The give to Nick Smith up the side to the 10. Cuts back to the middle. Five touchdown to the Mean Green lead. So defense, can you stop another fourth down try? Just did it a couple of minutes ago. Snap back. Handoff, Cox piled up the line of scrimmage as the 32, and they drive him back, and I don't think he got it. So the defense does it again. It's a wrap! Bounce back season. Mean Green, let's count it down. Bounce back season, Mean Green. Go Mean Green, baby. And they're in victory formation. Snap back and Fine takes a knee and knock off Old Dominion 45-38 and stay atop. Conference USA's West Division improving to 4-1. First of all, great job and congratulations. You found a way to win. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. I tell you all the time, I'm never not going to enjoy a victory because they're all challenging in different ways and they're all hard. All right, so I'm proud of y'all for finding a way, gutting it out, all right, and winning. I'm proud of that. It's defense, great job. Was it always perfect? Hell no. At the end, they had opportunities on, well, I think it was three, four down, all right, to uh, stay on the field and you kicked their ass up front. And I told you it's all gonna start up front. All right, making competitive plays. You gotta continue to make competitive plays. Offensively, great start. Up and down the field. You kick their ass up and down the field, we gotta finish it off. 
We're going to make mistakes, but not that, not like that. We're good to go? Yes, sir. All right, all three phases. Still haven't seen it yet. Still haven't. Enjoy this one. We'll correct all the mistakes on Sunday and take care of each other tonight. We're on the same page. Yes, sir. All right, JC, break us down, baby. committed to the growth of the individual in a team environment. We love community service, just helping out the community. I was fortunate enough to get athletic and academic aid, so um, it just opened up so many doors for me and I'm very grateful for it. My name is Victoria Junius, thanks to North Texas and Conference USA. I am and will always be all day CUSA. to you know build a program that lasts you must have that consistency Old Dominion easily could have pulled out that game and you know we would be sitting here scratching our heads what were we doing but um, we we pulled that one out and I think that we are gaining momentum we need to play smarter I know we didn't play very disciplined this past week we had three penalties uh, all of which were personal fouls which is something that um, you know is isn't part of what who we are and a part of our core values something we stress the next thing is we got to do a much better job overall uh, in the second half coming out of, out of the locker room uh, in the third quarter because eventually uh, it's going to creep up and get you beat you can't continue to uh, make the mistakes that we've made consistently win football games so that's something we've really talked about as coaches um, different things we need to do so we can finish off games better Compared to last year, I think that we have a more potent offense. Our defense has been a little bit of a roller coaster this year, and they know it, and they just want to be consistently good. Ref spoke about it last week. The teams that are consistently good become great because you know they, they play above their level at times, and that's where we want to be. The only things our defense fixed was just uh, focus and energy. And that was the main key that Coach Ochoa had all week. And just we focused on all the little details and just made sure we brought energy every day in and out. Those fourth down stops, thanks to the D-line, plugging their gaps, linebackers flowing through, safeties coming over top to help. I just think that was, that was truly amazing. It was probably one of the most crucial points we'll have all season. That just brought our confidence back up. Overall, I truly think we're a great defense, and we have some potential. We just we're just not there yet. We just haven't hit our true potential, and when that happens, I it's gonna be a sight to see. That's all I can really tell you. It's kind of our bounce back week. Coming off of uh, FAU, we learned from our mistakes and we corrected them that next week of practice, and we were more focused this week. We we're more locked in. We had our game plan all set and ready to go, and we just took a different approach this time. What I've seen in my teammates' eyes is just great. Just everybody, just passionate. Everybody wanted to get after it. The game was over, and I could still go another half. Everybody talking about we could still play, let them run it again. Just that energy that we have, we just need to keep carrying it on. We're a much better football team right now than we have been at any point that I've been here. Um, so we're continuing to grow. Our guys are getting more comfortable every single week. I think the chemistry is continuing to develop, and. Uh, it's been pretty strong. It's a very resilient group. Um, they work extremely hard. We didn't know what to expect last year. You could tell us last year that five, like, we would win five games and we, everybody was happy with that. You could tell us that this year. We already have five in and no one's satisfied. People are still acting like we haven't won a game yet. And that's the exact attitude that we need. In my opinion, this part of the season's like, it's the, the make or break. This is also the time of the season where our bodies are beaten up. Some people's mental focus is down, but at the same time, we gotta keep each other up. We gotta keep each other energized every week because every week we're supposed to get better. That's really our goal. We can't take one week off. The expectation is just to go in and out every week and just playing our, playing our hearts out, just one and out every week. 
We are in contention with uh, sitting on top of the Conference USA West, and I think that's huge for us because in the back of our minds, we know that you know we are a solid team and we've done some good things. And if we go according to plan, then we could be playing an extra two games rather than just hitting a bowl game. Right now, we're five and three. You know, we're uh, four and one in conference, and you know, got an opportunity to still control our own destiny. And that's what you play for, you know, an opportunity to get to November and the time to where, you know, games really mean something, uh, this last stretch down the season. It's very important to take each game uh, one at a time, especially with the month of November coming up. Uh, this is where teams win championships. This is where, this is where we dominate. That's where the good teams end up being great and then good teams end up being bad. Having that is, it's motivating. It just pushes us every week to get better. It pushes us to, it, it gives us something to really, truly work for. Coach Rattel preaches at us, don't read it. Whatever you're looking at, don't read it. Every week we're zero and zero, and just we're going out to win one game at a time. We've got a great opponent coming up in La Tech at their place. We play extremely hard, but also we play smart this next week in order to have a chance to win.